All right, boys and girls, we're ready to start our first art lesson here. And when we think about our first art lesson that we're going to do together, um, as I always start my sixth grade term, I always think, you know, what is it that, that sixth grade students really uh, want to learn? And over the years, it's always been they want to become better drawers and better at drawing things a little bit more realistic. And so we're going to start our term off here teaching you a trick to drawing. And this trick is called perspective. And by using perspective, it's a tool that will help your drawings become more realistic, but it's also a skill that as you work through it, you're going to realize that, you know what, it's really not that hard to do the trick, okay? And so we're going to do some preparatory stuff here to get us ready for a final project, which our final project will be a big city drawing that uh, we'll be starting uh, next week. And so this week we're just going to do some things getting us ready for that, because if we don't do this prep work, then uh, our city may not be as detailed, it may not be as perfect, and I want to get you guys all the tools that you can to uh, help you become the best um, drawing, make the best drawing that you possibly can. So if we look at today's learning target, uh, today's learning target is going to say students will be able to draw three perfect boxes in one point perspective. And so when we talk about three perfect boxes, and I'm talking so perfect that no one else in the world could draw many more perfect than what we're going to show you today and then what you're going to be able to do. Um, it's really quite simple. When we think about using perspective, get a new sheet of paper here. When we think about using perspective, the first thing we want to start off with, obviously, the supplies you'll need. And so the supplies you're going to need are paper, just a regular white sheet of paper. Computer paper works fine. A straight edge. Now your straight edge can be a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, guys, use the edge of a folder or a little piece of wood or a piece of cardboard, whatever you can find around home for a straight edge. And then a writing utensil, preferably a pencil, but uh, if you don't have a pencil, a uh, pen uh, would work too, but um, I think you'll, you'll be a lot happier with a pencil. So what we're going to do is we're going to position the ruler so it's toward the middle of the paper, just like that, straight across, horizontally. And we're going to draw a line across the middle of that paper. And that line, I'm just going to put it H period and L period. That line becomes what we call the horizon line. The horizon line is a line where the ground meets the sky. Okay, So if you were to look out in the distance, out your window, it would be where the ground meets the sky. It's also sometimes heard of or called an eye line. right? If you were to project straight out where your eyes were all the way, uh, it's called the eye line. And then we're going to put a dot right here in the center. That center is called a vanishing point. I'm just going to put the letters VP there to kind of help remind you that. We are doing one point perspective. Now one point perspective means we just have one dot. Now there are other types of perspective out there that we may get into yet this term. There's one point perspective, there's two point perspective, three point perspective, and multi point perspective. And that all has to do with how many dots are out there. And like I say, we may get into two-point perspective, but as you get older and move on through into eighth and ninth grade and even into your high school, you're going to learn more about the different types of perspective as well. So this is the basis of any perspective drawing. You've got to have a horizon line and you've got to have a vanishing point. Once you have those there, then you can start making things look three-dimensional. Now, we're all going to draw the exact same thing today. What we're going to draw is a box, a rectangle, right on the horizon line and to the right of the vanishing point. So, we're to the right of the vanishing point, but we're right on the horizon line, and it's just a rectangle like this. 
just like that. And then we're going to draw a rectangle above the horizon line and to the left of the vanishing point. So we're talking out in this area somewhere. And you want to be, you know, a little ways above that horizon line, like I am. Don't be close to us. A little harder if you're closer to it. And a good distance away from the vanishing point, just like that. And then we're going to go below the horizon line and to the left of the vanishing point, just like this. So now we've got three rectangles, right? We'll zoom in on that just a tad. There we go. So we've got one on the horizon line above and to the left and one down here below and to the left. Now, we need to start making these boxes three-dimensional and we want them to be perfect. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at every corner. So we have four corners. One, two, three, four corners on our boxes. So I'm going to look at each corner and see if it has a free and clear shot to this vanishing point. How do I check that? Well, I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line up the corner of this box to the vanishing point. If there's nothing in its way, then I'll draw it to the vanishing point. Okay? I'll look right here. This corner right here, to the vanishing point, nothing in its way, I draw it. This corner here, line up. Is there anything in the way? Oh yeah, it's going to go into the box. Don't draw that one. I'm not going to draw that one, so I'm going to skip it over here and go over to this one. And now I'm going to line up and draw, and that one has a free and clear shot to the vanishing point. Let's check out this one down here. This corner has a free and clear shot to the vanishing point. This corner here has a free and clear shot to the vanishing point. This corner does not, but this corner does. Let's look over here. This corner here has a free and clear shot to the vanishing point. So does this one. This one does not because it goes through the box. This one does not. It goes through the box. Oops, sorry, here we go. Show you again. This one did not because it goes through the box. This one does not because it goes through the box. There we go. Now, as we look at this, if I were to tell you at the beginning of this video that I wanted you guys to draw three buildings from a bird's eye point of view, flying over the top, maybe some skyscrapers, three skyscrapers, I would guess that most of you would struggle with that step. But if you look, and imagine, these could be three skyscrapers in the sidewalk, way, way, way down here, right? So that wasn't that hard to draw. It was actually fairly easy to draw. And that's what I'm talking about when we talk about teaching you a skill like perspective, a technique that's going to make your drawings become better. It's not that hard. It's just you got to know how to use it. Now, our goal was not to make three, or not to make three giant skyscrapers. Our goal was to make three perfect boxes. So perfect that no one else in the world could do it any better than we're doing it here today. So in order to do that, let's look at this box down here, for example. I'm going to zoom in on this one so we can focus on it. And if we look at the sides of the boxes, these two corners went to the vanishing point, there's a line in between it. We have to repeat that line again somewhere out here. And what I mean by repeat it, we gotta repeat it parallel. Now parallel means two lines equal distance apart that never ever cross go on forever. So if I line up my ruler here and I slide this thing over and I draw a parallel line like this, those two lines never ever cross, right? Looks good, it's the side of that box. Then I go here, line up, slide over, parallel, parallel, just like that. 
There's a perfect box. No one else in the world can draw that box any more perfect than we just did right there. Let's look up here. We got this line right here. Line up, slide over, make sure you're parallel. You can see it under my ruler there, we're parallel. Line up, slide over, parallel, we're parallel there. There's our box there. Let's look at this one. We just have one line to draw on this one. Line up, slide over, parallel. Look at that. Just like that. And just like that, we have three perfect boxes. Like we said, so perfect no one else in the world could draw any better than us. Now we're not done with this. We're going to show you how to repeat your boxes. But before we show you how to repeat your boxes in the next video, I want you to prepare you for the next video. And you're going to need to pick three colors. They can be colored pencils, crayons, markers. I just happen to have highlights here, highlighters. You can, if you have your highlighters, use your highlighters. What I want you to do is color the front of your boxes all the same color. So that first box that we drew to start this, we're going to color all yellow. Just like this. Now, one of the beauty, beautiful things about our video here is that if you're struggling with a step and you're not really sure how to do it, you can always go back and rewind, go back to the spot in the video and re-watch, and you can draw step by step with me, pausing all the way. And if that still doesn't work, you can always email me. Take a picture of what you've got and email it to me in the classroom and we'll um, see if I can help you from there. But then we're going to color the sides. When we call the, color the sides, I'm talking about the sides that are facing the vanishing point. We're going to call it uh, vanishing point road. Okay, this, this middle road right here. We're going to call it vanishing point road. And so the sides that are facing Vanishing Point Road here, we're going to color all the same, just like that, just like this. Here, and then uh, we're going to get top and bottom taken care of here too. like this and want top and bottom the same color as well just like that the reason why we're going to color them is because they're going to come in handy later when we show you the next step but this is your first step okay the next step I'm going to show you in a couple days. When you get to this step, you guys, I would like you to try to take a picture of it with your Chromebook and upload it to me so I can see it. Just upload it on the classroom. I'll have an assignment on there for you here on Monday, today, and uh, have you uh, get that turned in. But we just want to do three perfect boxes. Now, if you get done early and you want to uh, practice some other things, you can try some different shapes some different things okay all right good luck have fun with this first art assignment